Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for the Azure Container Registry series that we are working on in this video. We will see how to push the first image to a private Docker container registry using the Docker CLI. An Azure Container Registry stores and manages private Docker container images similar to the way Docker Hub stores the public Docker images. We can use the Docker command line interface that is the Docker CLI and that is a prereq that you should have the Docker CLI installed on your computer. Like the Azure CLI, Amazon CLI, you have the Docker CLI. I will use it for login, push, pull and other operations on the container registry that we will create in the Azure portal. In the following video, we download an official NGINX image from the public Docker Hub and then we'll tag it for the private Azure container registry that we have in Azure and then we'll push that image to the registry in Azure and then pull it from the registry. So let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. Here I am on the Azure portal I just created my container registry if you want to see it. You will have to click on all resources. Here it is, test user. Here is my container registry. The name of the container is test user. And the login server is test user as your CR.io. To login using AZ uh, CLI, you will type AZ login. The user ID. If your Azure login, there you are. Logged in as a surrender. There it is. Now you will log in to your container registry, which would be AZ ACR login. And the name of your container registry is test user. Let me check. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to run the Docker client. The Docker client was not running on my machine, so I ran it and then my login is succeeded. We can also log in uh, with the Docker login. Uh, for example, we might have used the service principal name to the registry for an automation scenario. When we run the command Docker login, if you want to use Docker login to run it, you can use Docker login, then the test user dot zero ACR dot IO. It will also log in to the username and the password. Always we have to specify the fully qualified registry name or lowercase when we are using uh, the Docker login. And uh, when you will have the username and password, both commands would result in the login succeeded message. But I'm already logged in with AZ ACR login. Now I will push, I will pull the official NGINX image from the Docker Hub. Docker pull NGINX. So if I've not mentioned any version, it will pull up, pull the latest version on my computer from the Docker Hub, like it is doing now. It will take some time. Uh, let me check in Central India. There are uh, the repositories in which you'll store your images. I do not have any repositories. I was in Virgin Network. They are still in preview. It's gonna take time. Let me, I'll be back when it is done. It is completed. Now I will run the lo the container locally. So Docker run. I'm gonna run it interactively. I'm using the uh, IT. Then I will remove the container. Uh, should be removed when we stop it. So I'll use minus rm. I'll use the port 8080. It will run on the local port 80 for this image. Let's see how it goes. Oh, there are two dashes. Okay. It is taking too much of a time. So what you can do is you can... You got the idea how it is done now. Now, if 
if you want to push the image to the registry and there are repositories that you make inside the registries so that you can uh, make sure in which repository it, it is uh, going then you can write uh, docker push docker push uh, test sir dot zero cr dot io then let's say you create a sample repository inside you store this gin image so this is the command that you'll use to push the image now if you want to pull the image from uh, this location then you'll just mention pull here right so this was the brief idea i wanted to share with you regarding the push and pull images from the docker registry i will come up with a new video soon and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye